And welcome back, everybody, to the Road Show. This morning in the Buzz, brought to you by the Comedy Connection. So a new survey shows a lot of people need a vacation <laughs> from their vacation. Many homeowners say going on vacation is absolutely too stressful. That's because the average person has at least six tasks on the to-do list to finish before they feel ready. Sounds about right. So the things we fret about before starting our vacation include last minute shopping, cleaning the house, giving someone a key to the house, and other tasks to make the home safe before you even leave. Now, 31% say this process takes half day, and 18% say they need an entire day before they're vacay ready. Right. I think you vacation a lot. I do. I think a lot I think a lot of people will make sure the house is like spotless before yeah. they go anyplace. Yeah. You know, which is which is a big thing. And then the other problem is too, is I love having the dogs. Oh yeah, that's a but whole But you other always piece. have to find someone to watch the dog. Who's gonna take care of the dog? Is mm -hmm. the dog going to somebody's house or is somebody staying at the house? And then if somebody's staying, it's just gonna it's a say, whole other routine. It's a whole other routine. It's a whole other routine. It's a party. Right. You at, at your house. You gotta explain <laughs> it is a party. <laughs> from what we I were learned. All invited. <laughs> from what I learned that while I was away, a party <laughs> happens. Pool party. Pool parties happen. There's a big thing going on. <laughs> I'll never forget Will had someone watching, you know, the, the dog at the right. house. Yeah. And all of a sudden I see photos on social media of, of, of a pool party. Pool party, yes. Yeah. Like, should we go? Right. Well, you could have. He's you, away. You probably could have gone. <laughs> you probably could have gone. I was not in charge. I was away. I was on vacation. I, I didn't have any control of that. You know? <laughs> but yeah, that's that's always a big, you know, a big deal. That is a big thing. You know, I, I know for us when we go away too, it's just making sure the house is clean. I don't want to come back and have like right. just kind of chaos you when you walk in. Fresh. You know, you're going to be coming back with laundry and all those things and unpacking. So I do try to make it as seamless as can be. Right. And also for parents parents with little kids, very stressful, getting all of the things. You must remember yes, when the, when the girls were little, right. you're traveling with like pack and plays and strollers and all that. That's a whole other level of chaos. Right. So I would always say, and I, I even said to, to, to Brendan when he was going to Disney a couple of months <laughs> ago with his niece, I said, you will see the poor parents who have packed everything oh, humanly yes. possible <laughs> with them to Disney. And at the end of the night, they have the little umbrella stroller. Yeah. The kid is dead weight. Yeah. And they're trying to fold up this while sweating. It is not the happiest place. place on earth at oh, that time. That time of day. It is not yeah, the happiest and you've, place. You've got bottles. You've got diapers. You everything, have everything. Everything in the backpack that you packed on this thing. It, it is. It's stressful. It's a lot. Yeah, it's and a they lot. don't even serve alcohol at the, the Magic Kingdom. No, not that you know of. <laughs> not that I know. Of. There are ways. Will might know ways. There are ways. VIP ways. <laughs> there are ways to get you know if you need a little drink. Brandon, but that is right? stressful. You're when right. you go with somebody little, it's a whole other thing. BK. <laughs> there he is. There he is. I swear, when I walked by those people, I thought, ooh, the magic kingdom becomes the tragic kingdom. Yes. Just yes. like that. Yes. In, 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 in eight to ten short hours, or maybe very long hours. Yeah, but with the planning that goes into vacation, it's just, uh, what am I doing with my life? Right. This is overwhelming. But then once you get there, once okay. I get to the airport bar and have a beer, I feel good. Yeah. Like we're close. Relaxing. Right. Right. Yes. And then when they tell me that the flight is delayed, well, <laughs> I can have another drink. So, right. <laughs> but yeah, it's a lot to, to consider. There's a lot to do. Let's check in with our viewers when it comes to vacation planning, traveling, stressing out, de-stressing. Let's get to it. Vacations, they don't stress. Catherine now, she says, no way. I am a planner and a lister. You know, making a list really can alleviate a lot of that stress. And she says, I pack early. A little bit of a show off, I think. <laughs> we love it, Catherine. Dawn is up next. Haven't been on vacation in a few years. I hope to get to my favorite vacation place. Oh, look at this. Disney World. How appropriate. One more time. It never stresses me out to visit there. Mark is next in the comment party. I have a trip to visit friends in Tampa planned. The possibility of another tropical storm or hurricane has me stressing. Optimistically hoping for the best for everyone on the Gulf Coast. And listen to Elizabeth's outline. Now, what I read is not going to match what's on the screen because it was a lengthy comment, as you can see, but pay close attention. Ski trip to Austria, get a dog sitter, have post office hold your mail, check passports, schedule your vacation time, pack clothes for skiing, nightlife, the essentials, turn the heat down, don't forget the skis and poles, phone plan, set up for Austria, Euro plugs for phones, and hair tools, and don't forget the passports and exchange money, get on the plane after enduring customs, and get a glass of wine. How about that? <laughs> Elizabeth, you've said it all. Thanks for chiming in, everyone. Yeah, that glass the wine nice and relaxing once you get through it all. Follow us at The Roadshow, Facebook, X, and Instagram. We go live every morning on Facebook at about quarter of eight. So leave your comments and you never know, we may read yours right here on the show.